Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channels. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and look at the split string method. It's very similar to the R split string method if you checked out that tutorial. The only difference is the split string method comes from the left, where the R split string method comes from the right. So basically what happens here is based on the argument we pass to the split method, that is where the um, method is going to split the string into uh, multiple strings and insert them into a list. All right. If we don't provide an argument, it's going to default to white space. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to create a string. It will be represented by A, and it's going to be master code online, like that. And we'll say A.split, like that. And we get a list, the square brackets. And then we get three strings, master code online, split on the white space because we did not pass an argument. <clears throat> now let's take a look at another example. This uh, string should be represented by B and it's going to be uh, some cars, car manufacturers, Audi, BMW, um, ba -ba -ba -bum. let's see, Kia, and Toyota. Like that and we'll close out our string and then we'll do b dot split and we're going to split it on the commas this time just like that and hit return all right so we got a list that contains some strings then we have a space in here i don't like that space in there so how would we get rid of that let's go ahead and take a look at that b dot split and this time we're going to add a comma then the space and then uh close out our string close out parentheses hit return and now we have officially removed those spaces before our car manufacturers all right and how did i know to do that well basically i was looking um where's our string here um we got a comma and a space and that comma and a space comma and a space so we just put a comma and space and say hey split there remove that and throw the rest of it in the list of strings all right um let's go ahead and take a look at uh the max split, which is an integer, it's an optional argument, and basically what this does is says, hey, only split this many of occurrences, then the rest just re throw in a string for us. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We'll do uh, some programming languages this time, so C will represent them. We'll do uh, Python, Swift, uh, Java, uh, C++, and uh, another one would be PHP. All right. So we'll close out that string and let's go do C, C dot split and we're going to split on the comma again. So split on the comma here and we'll add a space to remove that empty space and then comma and then we'll say split the first two occurrences. And since this is the split string method, it will come from the left where the R split string method when we give a max split will come from the right. Hit return and we get uh, Python, Swift. And then we get another string that contains the remaining programming languages of Java, C++, and PHP. If you have any questions, head over to Mastercode Online. Let us know there. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.